Howdy. I was diagnosed and treated for stage 4 melanoma nearly 30 years ago. Today I am helping my wife deal with severe intestinal damage caused by her own cancer treatment. This channel, I basically, well, I want to help you so you can help me so I can help my wife. Said another way, a little bit more in depth, I want to create videos that will be helpful for you in some way, educational, informative, whatever. If I do my job well, it is my hope that you will subscribe and watch my videos. If you do that, then Google will eventually send me a revenue sharing check. And I'm going to use that check to help my wife. Now, I'm going to consider you a, an investor of sorts. I mean, you're investing your time watching my videos. So when Google provides me with a check, a revenue sharing check, I'm going to share with you how I spend it. Now, how far or how, how very little it actually does. The first check I imagine will, will be the minimum that Google provides, which I think the threshold is $100. It used to be, I think it still is. Now, there are terms in um, terms of service by Google that I cannot specifically state how much they give me. And so I'm just going to show you how I spend it. And if I can't help my wife, at, at least I know that um, I will help you. That's my goal. Um, so I'm still on a journey to be a better artist. And this is March 15th, the middle of March. Um, the United States is preparing to lock down. I guess very slowly we need to get ahead of a uh, coronavirus right now. Um, I'm not going to be talking about coronavirus. I'm going to be talking about other things. <laughs> and I imagine I'm going to be here at my house in my studio, um, either working. Uh, I'm going to be working. One of those people that's going to be working from home over the next couple of weeks. I know that this week I will be. And well, in addition to working from home uh, at night, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to help you. I'm going to, I'm going to do so with this intent, I guess, is that um, by helping my wife, um, she has a compromised system. We've been to the hospital uh, too many times this past year, but I'm grateful in a way um, that it happened the way it did because now she's under the care of a physician who specializes in the types of injury that she suffered during her cancer treatment. But um, it also has allowed me to, um, well, do some things and learn some new things. Um, I have a pellet grill now, which means I become somewhat adept at barbecue. I'm a Texan. <laughs> Comes natural, right? Well, not really. Uh, but my barbecue is a little bit different than uh, what you may see on a typical YouTube channel. Um, a lot of people um, subscribe to this, you know, low and slow kind of cooking. You know, take a brisket and put it on a, a smoker for nine hours and low and slow. That's one way. Um, there's also the, the proper way. <laughs> I, I prefer West Texas barbecue. West Texas barbecue is high heat. You still use wood, um, I'm, whatever wood you have, but I'm using wood pellets, apple, pecan, mesquite, uh, oak, uh, um, you know, hickory. If I think we got some hickory, but using um, higher heat. And you can get a nice brisket done in three hours, but I do that because my wife cannot have spices. Um, she has a reaction and... Um, trying to minimize her uh, reactions is a challenge because you have to um, navigate good foods and bad foods. So I have a list of foods um, that are on a good list from the doctor. And even on the good list from the doctor, have to be very mindful of preparing or what we prepare and portion control of how my wife eats. Um, because of her compromised system. I don't really think that we have a concern with uh, the current coronavirus, but we do have a concern with the fruitcakes out there at the grocery store who have emptied the shelves. Um, luckily, I, you know, I'm somewhat of a prepper. We, we can manage. <laughs> 
and this is just my wife and I, and my portion control is um, reduced as well, especially during this time. So, you know, drinking a lot more water and uh, a lot more coffee. <laughs> Um, I like beer, but not, you know, I still have some, but I eh, uh, probably won't be drinking it as much, but, um, you know, I mean, that's one thing I want to share, share with you. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, my, my stuff, uh, my brushes and my paints and everything are still back there behind me and I still am painting. And that's one thing I think that everybody can do, um, is to take up a hobby to learn something new, take this time. In 1665, uh, Oxford University was shut down because of the bubonic plague. Isaac Newton was at that university. You know what Isaac Newton did during the bubonic plague when Oxford University was shut down? He rewrote calculus and theorized gravity. I'm not Isaac Newton. But I'd like to think that I'm going to use my what time I do have to reflect. And we're not going anywhere um, to avoid cabin fever. Um, jigsaw puzzles, art, learn how to play chess. Um, you can, yeah, you can watch Netflix. But what do you do if the TV goes off? If, you're, if your power goes out? I mean, not, not to say that it'll happen, but what happens? <laughs> how are you going to manage? Think about other things as well. And and if since you're you know going to be home with your family, a uh, jigsaw puzzle. Here's an idea for you. When you put together a jigsaw puzzle, my cousin showed me this uh, with my Uncle Bob, who's 90 years old. And they have a jigsaw puzzle and a table in the middle of their living room. And everybody sits around at night. And it's a really complicated one of those, you know, 5,000 piece puzzles, really hard ones. <laughs> and they sit there and they, you know, got all the edges done. But when it gets hard, you can't go to bed until you put two, pu two pieces of into the puzzle. And that encourages, you know, everybody's sitting and talking to each other, trying to figure out the puzzle. And it's also helps you, your brain, Keeps your mind active. You're not vegetating watching Netflix, some stupid show. Yeah. Anyhow, that's my tip of the day. But I'd like to to meander into this. And so this is my first. Um, I'd, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel, watch my videos. I will hopefully um, make them helpful to you. And by doing so, I hope that you can help me and I can help my wife. And that's my, that's my intent. That's why I want to do this. All right. So that's my why. And with that, um, I'm going to leave you with what I think I've been, you know, pondering, should I do the podcast or should I do some, you know, something like this? I've kind of, you can tell I've kind of moved, um, my cameras. Um, and I think I want to do it like this. I'm going to call this a netcast. Um, I want to do this on YouTube and not a podcast. I think YouTube is more relevant for two reasons. Um, it is accessible for people who cannot hear. <laughs> I have uh, a brother-in-law who's deaf. And it, it's always been somewhat of a... You know, I've been baffled by the fact that a deaf person cannot participate in a podcast. They can't listen to it. Yeah, they can read a transcript, but transcript, you know, watching somebody's face <laughs> and having closed captions on the bottom, I think is very helpful for someone who might have a hearing disability or other cognitive disability or some a disability which prevents them from accessing a podcast or listening to a podcast. So that's why I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this a net cast, or maybe I should call this a tube cast start a new trend hey, hey a tube cast yeah i like that tube cast there it is this is a tube cast the first you are on it and with that until tomorrow hasta luego see ya bye